Hello everyone, welcome back. Well, uh, I am putting down some plastic mulch today. We're gonna, we've got some more cabbage and broccoli plants ready to set, so I'm gonna try to get uh, some mulch down for that. And I'm using the John Deere 5205 and our little uh, mulch layer here. And I thought I was set up and ready to go, but uh, if you look closely, you'll see this problem. And I'll point it out to you here in a minute. But, uh, I've done videos on this in the past, but eh, I'm going to do another one. What the heck, crap. So, once again, I've got everything up here squared away. The way this works is, it, these two plow points form a bed. Underneath here, it shapes the bed up. This is our drip tape. It goes down through a tube and is laid in the bed. And this is our plastic mulch. There's two rollers, one here, one here. Plastic feeds down through them. Under this roller, these wheels catch it, hold it tight. And then those coulters, which are turned upside down for transport, cover them up. So that's, uh, that's the way that works. But uh, it makes a 30 inch bed. Uh, you can see see over here the uh, the size of bed it makes but uh, they make several different types of these models makes and all that good stuff I really like this one and uh, it's, it's done a real good job for us but uh, uh, may have to water them again today it's been hot and dry and trying to water them and I see a moth flying <clears throat> I also see something been a chewing over here so that's never a good thing I've seen a couple of them bit off out through there so uh, we need to uh, need to get some more water on them and they look pretty good though and get them sprayed but anyhow so that's our setup. We put down eight, eight beds, and then we leave a, leave one out for spraying and access and all that good stuff as I've done here. So I'm gonna get started here, and uh, we'll take you guys along and show you kind of how this works. So hang on. Okay, once I get to the end, what I do, I just take my knife and cut the plastic. And my knife is extremely dull.
and then I pull the drip tape. Of course, I'm going to hook it to the header line there, so I'm going to get me plenty. Pull the drip tape out. Make sure I got enough. And then just cut here. Yeah, I know that was a little shaky. And then I'll just take a hole and cover up the end here. So that's kind of how we do it. Let's get turned around, put some there's our plastic bed. We need to make a few more adjustments, but for the most part, it run pretty good. Uh, we'll fine tune it and uh, I'm only gonna put down one or two to three. I don't know yet, so we'll see. I'm working alone today. Normally, when we pull this plastic down here, I'll have someone stand on it and hold it as I take off. But since I'm working alone, I just take my hole, dig me a little trench here, and then I'll pull the plastic down and cover it up. So, uh, this is how I do that. So I feed my plastic down through under this roller. Make sure that it's where the wheels are going to catch it. Then when I let the, let the machine down, the wheels will catch it. As far as the drip tape, I use a screwdriver or a nail or tent stake or something to pin it. To hold it, to keep it from pulling out. So that's, uh, that's a little unusual. Normally, I, like I said, I've got somebody helping me. But today I'm working alone, which is fine. So let's get back to it. Okay, camera's been a little shaky today. Apologize for that, but uh, that's how we put our plastic mulch down. As you can see, eh, there's a little crooked here, there, and yonder, but oh well. I was having to, I just got the mulch layer adjusted. Usually don't take that long, but like I said, I've got somebody back there looking for me, where today I didn't. Uh, just got it adjusted good just as I was finishing up there but uh, that's how we do that it uh, and that's what we grow uh, a lot of our crops on but uh, if you like what we're doing please subscribe if you have subscribed we thank you uh, we're going to be into a little bit of everything we're trying to get everything caught up calling for rain tomorrow I did plant another acre of corn this morning got hit squared away so uh, we got plants to go on those five beds there, and then we got to put some more fertilizer down, pick up a few rocks, uh, till that ground up a little bit, put some mulch down. I need to get some more ground ready for corn, and we got to get our pumpkin ground finished. But we are getting there, slowly but surely. And uh, that's just the life of a small farmer, or any farmer for that matter. But uh, that's kind of where we're at. So uh, everybody take care of themselves. See a video you like, whatever. Comment. Tell us what you think, and we'll talk to you guys later.